What's up everybody, in this video we are going to learn how to make these nice looking graphs for temperature and humidity using Thingspeak. To get started, let's first have a look at the components that we are going to use. I am using the NOD MCU and a DHT11. Don't worry, if you have any version of ESP8266, this will work. I mean like the Wemos or the Wemos D1 Mini, that's perfect. So then the next thing to do is to go to your browser and type in Thingspeak and type in thingspeak.com. After typing thingspeak.com, you're gonna have an interface that looks like this. Then you go to this little guy right here, click on it, trying to sign in onto this cloud platform. Then if you don't have an account, you need to create one, but as I have one, I'm gonna log in with my email. Then I'm gonna click on next put in my password then click on sign in after I am signing signed in successfully you can see that I have this little thing that tells me new channel my channel is a new channel already I have no channel in this account so I need to create a new channel then I'm gonna say maybe weather because it's going to be telling us the temperature and the humidity in this room where I am. Maybe let's call it weather station. Then I'm going to need the fields. So in this case, because the DHT11 displays the temperature and the humidity, we're going to need two fields. The first one will be the temperature. Then the next one will be the humidity. Then I'll scroll down here. I'm gonna ignore those, you know, for the purpose of this video. Then click on Save Channel. Now that I have saved my channel, you can see that we have the things that looks like a graph, but really nothing is being displayed. So to kind of, you know, send data, this data from this, uh, you know, from this circuit, from this uh, prototype to the dashboard, we need to code something. So, but there are things that we need to take into consideration, that is the API keys, you know, application programming interface keys. Then after I am here, I am going to go into some codes, some long haul codes, you know, I will just leave a link in the description. Then the first thing we have to add, I hope, we, you know, after following some of my few tutorials, you know now this is a library for DHT11, this is a library for ESP8266 because the NOD MCU uses it. Then I'm gonna go on to, this is the new thing, which is string API key. This is where you put the API key from the dashboard. So then I'm gonna copy this one. This is the right API because the, the, the Nod MCU and the DHT11 are trying to, you know, write something onto the cloud, the ThingSpeak cloud. Then I'm going to paste this. So this is my Wi-Fi SSID and this is my password. And then this is, you know, the API, the server on which we are writing the thing. So I have my DHT11 connected to D4. Then I have, yeah, this is the code for, you know, DHT11. The most important thing we need to look here is right here we are still you know handling the DHT11 we are trying to read the value from the sensor then I'm gonna go down here so this is where we are sending you know these values to the to the car to the thing speak dashboard so this field one is the one that we specified, which is the temperature. That's why you're putting in T because we read this value T, T as DHT11. So maybe let's, yeah, yes, as DHT11 temperature and edge as DHT11 humidity. So this is the function to kind of send these values into the ThingSpeak dashboard. So now if we scroll down right here, here we are trying to, you know, display something onto the serial monitor then here we add a little delay you know the time that it would take for one value to be sent to the dashboard wait then another value so we are putting in 2000 which i mean 20 thousand which includes to which 
is more like 20 seconds but maybe let's just reduce it and put it on 10 seconds then I need to check here if my baud is the right one so I have the not MCU yes confirm then go to pot yes my pot is on then I'm gonna hit upload wait a little bit because this can take some time then what we are going to do here is to verify that something is being sent to our dashboard I will go to my dashboard then go to private preview because we are using a private preview then wait and see that if after the uploading successfully I'm gonna have some values being displayed on this graph now after uploading successfully if I go to my serial monitor then wait just the the 10 or 20 seconds that we added you can see now that we have some values that are being displayed which means the temperature in this room where I am right now it is the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the humidity is 71 so now let's go to our dashboard and see if these values has been added to the graph you can see that we have something going on it is saying that the humidity is 72 and now here which is now 71 and you can see that it is varying a little and a little so you can go ahead and make some modifications if you wanted to like right here you can change the color you can you know change the background and so forth so now ladies and gentlemen this is ThinkSpeak and in this series we are going to be doing different things in ThinkSpeak and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe for more videos like this so now until then peace